Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to freeze tracks in Ableton Live 9. So if you have a big project like this, you don't really want too many MIDI effects or MIDI instruments, or it can start to lag in Ableton Live 9. If you look up here, you have your CPU meter. You don't really want this above 20 or 25, or you will notice a few glitchy sounds and it can ruin your live sets. So the best way I've found to do this is to find the instrument you want to freeze, and the first thing you want to do is duplicate this by hitting Command and D. And then select both of these and then hit Control and then go to Freeze Track. Okay, and now you have a copy of this. So you could always rename this. Just so you remember what it's called. So you call it F1. And I'm going to name this F1 also. You can rename with Command and R. F1, just so I know if I want to go back to this, I know it's quite easy to do so. So let's just put this out of the way for now. So we've got the frozen track there, so we can always unfreeze this and go back and edit our instrument whenever we want. Let's go back and freeze this again. And then let's go to our other frozen track and hit control and then go to flatten you'll notice the MIDI instrument has actually gone. And now if we click on these clips, it's turned to audio instead of MIDI. So this actually won't really do much in our CPU because the instrument has been flattened. It's all audio information, and now we're free to move these clips along and move them into any audio track that we have. So this will stop your CPU meter going too high. And if you want to go back and edit your instrument, you can always find the frozen track, unfreeze this, tweak it, and then duplicate this again freeze the track, flatten it, and then add this to your project. So you can always go back and make tweaks, and you always make sure your CPU meter doesn't get too high, because it can ruin your sets. I hope you found this little tip useful. If you have any comments, please put them in the comments section below, and thank you for watching.